Jim Davis from Sumter County today to talk to us about fertilizing your palm trees. Welcome, Jim. Hi, how are you? Hey. Why do we have to fertilize palm trees with something different than what we use for the rest of the landscape? Well, palms are, you know, they're not like the regular landscape plants, you know, like the majority of your woody ornamentals. You know, they're kind of like your citrus trees and roses. They need a specific fertilizer uh, to keep them happy and to keep them growing healthy. What do you look for in a palm fertilizer then? Because I've That's seen some that say question, yeah. special palm fertilizer. Are they all the same? No, they're not. <laughs> you really have to know what to look for um, in a fertilizer label. And one of the things that we encourage homeowners to do is to read the label and to make sure um, that you understand that label. Now, one of the things to look for is obviously to make sure it's slow release. You know, uh, preferably that fertilizer should be um, 100% slow release. Um, now, slow release, is that with the, the polymer coating, like the plastic coating absolutely. or sulfur coated? It doesn't really matter what type of slow release? That's a, exactly right. Um, if it says polycoated nitrogen, for example, that means it's slow release. So those are some very good words to look for. Um, other things to look for is to make sure it has the right micronutrients in it. Um, one of them is uh, called boron. And palms only need this in very small amounts, but you'd be surprised how many fertilizers out there that everything looks right, but it's lacking uh, in boron. And borons, if you don't have it in there, it's very transient through the soil. So if you're irrigating a lot, you know, it can leach out very quickly, and then you can have a boron deficiency, which we see, aside from potassium deficiency, you know, we see a lot uh, in Sumter County and specifically in the villages. So you have to make sure that that boron is in that bag. Um, also, um, other things to look for, iron. Make sure iron is slow release. I know, um, I won't know how many times I've looked on fertilizer labels and it says, you know, iron oxide. You know, what's iron oxide, right? It's, it's rust. rust. <laughs> <laughs> so palms really can't take up rust. So, uh, you know, things to look for is iron, all capital letters, E-D-T-A, for example. Or chelated. Or chelated iron, absolutely. But, uh, you know, there's different types of fertilizers out there. This slide that uh, I'm showing right now is just a couple of them, some really good ones. This is a, this is a 8 to 12. Uh, but again, you know, they've already started making knockoffs of 8 to 12. And just because um, you see this brand right here doesn't mean another <laughs> formulation is just as good. You have to understand and read those fertilizer labels. And also, another thing um, on your fertilizers, is make sure it doesn't have any oxides in them. You no, know? Oxides are bad. Oxides, yeah, because they aren't water soluble. So if it has manganese oxide, for example, um, iron oxide, it's not going to be better. You're best off just not using a fertilizer um, than putting that on. Wow. So those are some very, very good tips and what to look for. In now, a, in a often palm the, those palm fertilizers have a fourth number there, the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and then they'll have that fourth number? The fourth number is magnesium. Um, that's one of the other macronutrients. And, and a lot of people will say they'll just use some regular fertilizer, but they'll put Epsom salts on. Epsom salts, yes. We really don't um, recommend doing that. You know, a lot of people, first of all, you know, a lot of homeowners just use that as a standalone fertilizer. Well, you know, you need a complete fertilizer in the first place. Because it's, it's only magnesium sulfate. It's so a it's quick surprised. release form yeah. of magnesium sulfate, and palms need a slow release form that's called chiocerite. Um, and if you're putting on Epsom salts um, along with a regular palm fertilizer, you can actually induce another deficiency, such as potassium deficiency. Um, so you can actually create a bigger problem by doing that. Um, so it's, it's really not recommended. You know, we just say just use a, that good, you know, like a good 8 to 12 slow release palm fertilizer um, with all the necessary macro and micronutrients. Now, what other fertilizers should you avoid? Oh, other fertilizers to avoid. Well, you can see that uh, in this next slide right here, you have some cabbage palms planted right smack in the middle of turf grass. And this is something we see a lot, especially in um, islands and landscapes. And one thing that that palm is picking up is turf fertilizer. Now, palms um, do not react very well with, palm, with turf fertilizer. Um, turf fertilizer can actually be fatal to a palm. 
Um, now, is that because it has the nutrients in the wrong combinations? Exactly, because they have a lot of quick release. They have more quick release and slow release. Quick which, release, they, they usually have just slow release nitrogen and quick release everything else? That's exactly right. Yep. So that can actually exacerbate another problem. So uh, that's why turf, that's why turf fertilizers have such, such a negative effect on, you know, the palm trees. And um, so that's the big one. Now, a lot of people ask, well, you know, how, what am I supposed to do? Well, you can mulch out to the drip line or you can simply just use your palm fertilizer on your turf grass. You know? And how far out should you go with that palm fertilizer? Just, just out to the drip line. You know, that's, that's really a good, you know, okay. general rule. And uh, like I said, you know, you can use that palm fertilizer on anything. It's you good can, for anything in the landscape. Yeah, you can use it on yeah. shrubs. You know, and, and that's grass. a specific palm fertilizer, not just the ones that just say palm special. That's exactly right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, how much fertilizer should you be applying? You should be applying about um, one and a half pounds per hundred square foot of canopy is a good and general guideline. And that's hundred square feet of canopy or actually, it's a lot easier to measure ground area. <laughs> that, well, if you measure the drip line. Okay, yep. okay. Yep, and this uh, next slide will show you what exactly a drip line is. Of course, you know, I know that the palm roots Go a lot go further out. Extend <laughs> the, the drip line. But, uh, you know, if you, if you just go out to the drip line of that and apply that fertilizer, um, you should be fine. But just make sure you follow the rates. Um, you know, like I said, um, a good general rule of thumb is one and a half pounds per 100 square foot of canopy. We had a homeowner that was putting on um, five pounds because she was measuring caliper. Oh. Um, so, yeah, and she was ending up putting out five, you know, five pounds of fertilizer, or excuse me, about, I think it was more like 10, 15 pounds of fertilizer. Wow. So it was a lot, and uh, you can actually cause a lot of problems by doing that. Now, how frequently should it be applied? Can we start applying it soon? You sure can, in March. March you know, is the first application? March is the first application. March through September, you know, um, is when you need to fertilize. You don't need to fertilize in the winter months, just like, you know, majority of other landscape plants. And just once or twice or how many times during that season? Usually about two to three times, you know, March, July, September are three basic months you can fertilize. Now, depending, sometimes that, that um, slow-release fertilizer tells you how long it will last? Well, slow-release fertilizer will last about two to three months on average. Okay. More, I think, more around two months. Okay. And, you know, if you have a deficiency, mm -hmm. um, we really recommend that homeowners, you know, take a picture of it, bring us a leaf. Don't self-diagnose deficiencies online. We've seen a, I've seen a lot of problems with that because you know you can have several deficiencies on one leaf and if you don't apply it correctly it can go really overboard because you know if you have a palm that has boron deficiency and go out there and just put straight boron on you're going to kill your palm. You know that's yes. why you need to contact the professionals you need to contact the extension agents the University of Florida and will give you the recommended um, the amounts uh, put on and deceive exactly a deficiency in the first place because it might be something else. Where can we find some more information or, or where we can get these fertilizers? Okay, the next slide right here, we give some uh, several uh, uh, websites. The solutionsforyourlife.com is, uh, is a great website that uh, will give you schedules on fertilizing about palms and also has some great uh, information on how to read fertilizer labels. Um, and also, you know, the Southwest Florida Water Management District, um, watermatters.org. Most people don't take advantage of this website. They have a lot of free materials. Plus, on that website, they have some really, 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 really great videos that are just made this year okay, on great. how to apply fertilizers and how to read a fertilizer bag. So it'll give you some basics to get started. Okay. Well, that's all we have time for today. But all thank right. you very much. Thank you.